At Brookhaven Labs' Center for Functional Nanomaterials, scientists in the Interface Science and Catalysis Group seek to understand, on a microscopic level, how substances called catalysts speed up chemical reactions. They assemble model catalyst systems and study the nanoscale surface chemistry of these systems in real time and under reaction conditions. Their goal is to enable the development of more efficient, affordable catalysts for environmental and energy applications. Group leader Dario Stacchiola explains. We look at chemical processes that happen at surfaces and interfaces of materials that are used in energy processes, and we try to capture these as they are happening at the atomic and molecular level, both using microscopes that give us pictures and movies of all these processes, but also very advanced spectroscopic techniques that actually tell us the chemical composition and the changes that occur on both, on the chemicals that we are trying to transform, but also on the materials that are used to accelerate those processes that are called the catalysts. In this video, what we see is how carbon dioxide surface when it interacts with carbon monoxide, is converted to metallic copper. The process is very complicated, and by having these movies of this process in situ, that means while it's occurring, we can actually catch exactly where this reaction is happening, and then go back and synthesize catalysts that would do this process much more efficiently. So catalytic converters today use very expensive metals, platinum, ruthenium, that's why when you have a 10 years old car, your catalytic converter becomes more expensive than the entire car. What we are trying to do is to find more efficient catalysts that use such as copper that would make the converters much cheaper. I'm looking to get surprised by a new discovery of things, the sort of things that you are looking and you say, oh, that's interesting, I didn't expect it. So sometimes you do experiments and you are thinking before how things should work out, but the most interesting thing is when you say, oh, this is actually something cool, and that happens here at the CFM.